Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to the to podcast. Our second podcast. Yes, our number two podcast. How are you today? I am great. Oh, wait, we didn't introduce ourselves. I'm Ethan. I am Maddie, and we are Thomas Maid. Yes, we are, and we are back uh, for our number two podcast. Yes. Number one was a fun podcast. That was. We're, Walt Disney World. Yep, yeah, Universal Vegas. Three favorite places. Absolutely, and for this podcast, we are sticking with kind of the same theme, travel, but with a twist. With the ever bit so slightly of a twist. Right. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, but yes, with a twist. Uh, and as you can tell from the title of this episode, we are talking about the cruise industry. We're talking about cruises. Cruise so vacations. Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Celebrity, Disney, Norwegian. There, there's like, I, I don't know how many cruise lines. A lot. When we started looking at cruises, that's when we realized how many cruise lines there truly were. Yeah, there's a lot. I think before we did research, I knew of, well, I knew of Carnival, Royal Caribbean. Celebrity. Celebrity. Norwegian. Mm-hmm. Um, the River Cruises. Yeah, I knew that there were those, but like, there's like hundreds of cruise lines yeah. almost. But anyway, yeah. today we're focusing on... On the major ones. Yes. All right. And why are we focusing on the major ones? Um, because we, we were going to go on a cruise. Yeah, we planned. We started <laughs> planning like really hardcore planning for our cruise. And literally a day later, everything changed. Yeah, very quickly. So we were looking at Royal Caribbean. Yes. And they... So... Everyday things have been changing, as with the rest of the world. Everyday things have been changing. But um, when we were looking, they said that cruises were going to resume on June 1st. Mm -hmm. Then the next day became they were going to resume on around July 1st. Right. And then it changed again. And we'll get into the dates later. But, yeah, the dates just keep constantly changing. Over and over and over again. So, um, so yeah. But the U.S. cruise industry basically stopped on March 13th. Wow. So that's basically, I think that's basically like the same time as Disney and yeah, right around the same time. And I remember when they stopped, they had a bunch of cases of coronavirus on some of the cruise ships, which is why they stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the cruise ships actually got stuck at sea. Right, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So there's been a whole host of issues when it's come to the cruise industry and this pandemic. Uh, with that said, as we look at the life after the pandemic, uh, there's a whole lot of things changing. Now, first, let's get into the relaunch dates. All right. So let's talk about Carnival. Carnival is oh, Carnival always intrigues me. Why? Because they are so cheap. <laughs> they are so, like whenever. So I've been on a couple cruises. So have you. Yes. And whenever you're at port and you pull up next to a carnival ship, you can tell it's like spring break. Right. All right. Yeah. It looks like fun. But like you always like see like, oh, this carnival ship broke down. Oh, these people got stuck at sea for a couple days. Mm -hmm. You know, Um but yeah, it's, it always just intrigues me. Like, I want to try them, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I want to try it one day. Okay. I want to try Carnival. But anyway, with Carnival, though, uh, as with, well, so with all the other cruise lines, pretty much, they have a standard day that they're starting. Okay. Carnival's a little different. All, all right. right. Are they doing it, like, per ship or what? Oh, yeah. So, basically, per ship. What? <laughs> Every ship has a different date that... They're relaunching. Okay. All right. So, um, so literally it varies per ship. So if you go on the website right now, it's like the Carnival Magic is launching on this date. The Carnival Odyssey is launching on this date. Like it's all over the, it's all over the place. Hmm. But universally, pretty much it's between September 1st and December 1st. As late as December 1st? Yeah. Wow. It's as late as like late. November, early December. Yeah. Wow. It's like, it's all over the map. Okay. All over the map. So, um, 
so with that said, yeah, I mean that's that's carnival for you. Do Next you notice up, like a rhyme or reason? Is it like so? I think it's based off of the schedule. Okay. Um, I like I didn't d- dive too deep, but during the winter, I know a lot of ships are overseas. Yeah. Um. So I feel like. You know, that's their overseas schedule. Okay. They're pretty much just going to omit their summer schedule, their U.S. schedule, maybe. Got it. So, I don't know. that. That's just me speculating. Um, when you look at the Royal Caribbean Company, who also owns Celebrity Cruise Ships, um, August 1st. Okay. Now, that was adjusted from June 1st and also adjusted from July 1st. Yep. Now, it's August 1st, so we'll see if they actually launch on August 1st. Or if that gets pushed back again. It could get pushed back, but right now, <clears throat> August 1st. Okay, fingers crossed on August 1st. All right, followed by Disney? Disney Cruise yeah, Line. Disney, scheduled to open Tuesday, July 28th. Oh, that's not too far away. No, and before August 1st. I like it. By a couple of days. And then following Disney, uh, we also have Norwegian, um, who is scheduled to open as well on August 1st. Okay. So. So it seems like like end of summer is the target date for all these cruise lines. Right. Well, August, yeah, summer. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. August is like that last month. Yeah. You know, last month of summer. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's not bad. The but only... they're opening with changes, though, right? Yeah, there are a whole host of changes going on with these cruise lines. Um, and actually, just yesterday, um, another change came down. So, Disney was supposed to launch a Canadian cruise in August. Okay. Now, Canada just came out and said that they are banning cruises through October 13th of this year. Wow. That are staying overnight in Canada. Okay. So. That throws a little more wrench in things. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that means, like, if they're cruising in Canada overnight or if they're just staying in one place overnight. But either way, that affects Royal Caribbean. That affects Celebrity. That affects Nor- that affects everybody, really. Yeah. Wow. You know? Okay. So, I don't know why they chose October 13th. That's kind of a random date. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, so... Pushed it back far enough to not worry about it right now. Exactly. So, <laughs> that's happening right now. And then, um, the Seychelles, the Seychelles, Seych- yeah, Seychelles, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, yeah. Seychelles, they're banning cruises through, uh, 2021. Okay. So, they don't want anyone coming to their beautiful island that could be infected until all of this is well over. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's just the the location issues, the destination issues. We have a whole host of issues right. outside of that, though. Now, when we're talking about cruising in 2020, um, we're talking about a couple things. One of them is the constant cancellations that we just talked about. Right. So the delay of restart. So all these cruise lines keep on pushing back their start of when they're going to relaunch their boats. Right. That's an issue. And we were also looking at a lot of the, not just deposits, but payment and fulls are due soon. Yeah. So if you pay in full and if you're a cruise in September and all of a sudden August 1st turns into October 1st, it's yeah. kind of why your planning goes out the window. Yeah. So, yeah. But they you... refund you, right? So they will refund you, but it is a long refunding period. So Royal Caribbean Ooh. is telling you that it could take up to 60 days. The average is about 45 days. What? So it could take up to 60 days for them to even give you a refund credit. I'm not talking about the refund cash. The cash could take even longer, but the credit. So if you opt for a credit to sail with them at another time, they say that they'll give you 125% of what your cruise cost. But it could take up to 60 days to actually get your credit. So you couldn't even like quick take your credit and nope. book another one? Nope. Okay. So if you get a credit, you are not cruising this year. Yikes. Okay. So At least not in a controllable capacity. So it's worth waiting to see what happens. Oh, it's definitely worth waiting. Okay. It's definitely worth waiting. You know, be, between having to pay for your entire cruise in full right now, between that and then also... 
let's just play devil's advocate and say that the coronavirus comes back again when it gets cold. Right. Well, then you're going to be stuck on a cruise ship. And I don't know if you remember in March when this coronavirus took place and there were cases on cruise ships. People were stuck on ships for weeks. Yeah, I remember. A seven-day cruise turned out to be like a, a three-week. Yeah. Or, yeah, or a 30-day 30 30 cruise. cruise. And people were upset. Yeah. And desperate. I remember that. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't want to get stuck on a cruise ship for 30 days. I love cruising, but I don't want to get stuck for 30 days while I was planning for seven. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to pay thousands of dollars and then not be able to get it back for 60 days and not book another one. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, other changes. Other changes also include the buffets. So, mm. Royal Caribbean is saying on all their ships, also with Celebrity... And we're also hearing that on Carnival and Norwegian and some of these other cruise lines, they're getting rid of the buffet. Ooh, so what are they doing with the buffet space? So they're going to turn the buffet space into another um, plated dining, seated dining location. Mm -hmm. The problem is, though, that sounds all fine and dandy, but then when you think about the logistics of it, right. you have, let's say, 5,000 people on a cruise ship. That's a lot of people. Okay? The buffet... At any given time, let's t let's take lunchtime. Yeah. The buffet, number one, is just a great place to eat. Absolutely. But number two, it will usually feed about a quarter to half the people during any meal. Right. So that's half the foot traffic gone. So that you're able to sit down at um, a specialty dining restaurant or in the dining room. If you have all 5,000 people then going to all the same locations... We're having to try to sit down at the same time. That's not going to work. No. And I know that we talked about like the only way that we'd be able to like make it worth it. So you weren't affected by that would be to severely upgrade to the suite status so that you have specialty separate seating in hopes to eat sooner, which would be crazy to even start to think like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. And yeah, we did that is basically the only way that it works um, if you want to have the freedom of that anytime dining type of situation. For us, we like to eat whenever we want. We don't want to get stuck at eating at exactly 5.30 every day because you never know what we're doing. Right. And we're not like formal eaters either. So we just like quick breakfast, quick cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and we're on to the next thing. So now it would be much more of like a, hey, we need to plan out meals and that's just not like we don't plan around food no we don't so we don't we'd have to yeah yeah so that is a whole situation that uh is gonna be interesting mm -hmm. i don't i i don't yeah i don't know i don't i don't and especially on like the bigger ships like oasis of the seas anthem of the seas when you look at those huge royal caribbean ships that are you know have like ten thousand people on them right it's gonna be horrible yeah, that's a lot of people to have to figure out what to do with. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad. And then also when you look at the other types of precautions that they're putting in place with the social distancing on the ships, with uh, reduced dining in locations. So a location that could fit two hundred people now only fits a hundred or eighty. That's gonna be bad. Yeah. That's gonna be really bad. What are they gonna do with that entertainment? Like, how do you social distance? What I saw is that what they're going to do is you have one seat and then two seats are going to be blocked off. Then you'll have two seats, then two seats will be blocked off. Wow. Then you'll have one seat and they'll block off every one or two seats. So that's, yeah, this is going to be yeah really interesting. Now, yeah. are they going to sell less tickets, do you think? Or... Well, I mean, this is still a business. Right. They still so... need their money for gas and... Uh, but you're only else. going to be able to go to half things because there's not going to be space for everyone. Oh, I know. I know. Well, and when you look at the cruises, when you, when you look at the pricing, the pricing has not gone down at all. Jeez. The pricing is still crazy. Um, when we were looking at the prices for uh, the Central Park view on Oasis of the Seas, it was still about a thousand bucks a person. Jeez. You know, did mean, they make any announcements as far as my favorite topic goes? Which topic? The pools. Oh, the pools. Yes. 
they did make an announcement as far as the pools. And? The pools are going to have reduced seating. Oh. Um, you have to swim with a mask, too? Redu- Just well, put a snorkel on. Well, there's going to be reduced people allowed in the pools like. and at the pool area. Um, I'm going to crank up that chlorine. Well, reduced people are going to be allowed in the hot tubs also. So, yeah. So, a lot of staying in your room. Basically. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost like you should just, like, stay at home <laughs> instead of going on the cruise. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I... I yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's just... There's just a lot of social distancing that you're going to have to do now on the cruise, you know? Um, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense, you know? Yeah, traveling is going to be really interesting. Just... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Now, when we talk about cruises... All right. Let me ask you a couple questions. One, hmm. would you travel on a cruise when they first open? So let's say August first, everybody opens even carnival. <laughs> For business okay? or pleasure. <laughs> and, and 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 we're not going to say it a vlog or anything else. Okay. I'm saying pleasure. for pleasure. Okay. You're spending your own money. Okay. All right. No one's paying for this okay. except for you. All right. Would you travel on a cruise August first when they open? No, not for pleasure. Okay, why not? It's, there's just too many restrictions. And when I think of traveling and vacationing, like I'm trying to get away from the everyday problems in life. And all you're doing is packing a bag and bringing them with you. <laughs> so you still are going to have that same issue of, oh, I have to wear a mask. Oh, now I have to figure out how I'm going to get food. And it's the same type of panicky stuff that you experience trying to go to the grocery store here Mm -hmm. so that doesn't sound like vacation to me that makes sense you know that makes sense okay so coupled with the fact that some of these countries don't even want you there okay so let me ask you this if they open up the pool okay they open up the pool area but everything (laughs) else is still the same would you go on a cruise for reduced price yes no say it's still (laughs) a thousand bucks a person no, no. Even mm-hmm. if they open up the pool, but everything else is still the because same. Because everything else has still changed. You like, okay, okay. you're going to let me swim. Thank you. But um, you're not going to be able to eat at a buffet. All of your entertainment, we have to sit like far and far away from a- other people. Well, okay. Pool and entertainment are, cha- are, are back to being the same. Mm-hmm. Are back to being what they were. But there's still no buffet. There's still, dining is still affected. Hmm. Maybe we'd have to really sit. No, there's no think. maybes. There's, we'd have to really no, sit and no. think about the. There's no maybes. It's do yes, they upgrade. Yes or no. <laughs> Will we be fed at all? Period. <laughs> yes or no. Regular cabin. Yes or no. Uh, no. Okay. You. Huh. I mean, for me, the it's not about the pool. For me, it's about the buffets and whatnot. So. Okay, so... There you go. What so if no. they shut the pools but open the buffets? Then, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I, I don't... I don't, the pool and shut, and I, don't I don't care about the pools as much because, like, for me, it's more of a turnoff when there's, like, 2,000 people who are using the pool like a bathtub. Yeah. Okay? It's kind of... You know, like, that's... So, for me, I get turned off when I... Go to the pool. Okay. Like, I'm not Even like, at other, like, resorts and stuff? Re- with resorts... The weird thing is, with resorts, no. Because for some reason, I feel like with resorts, they do a better job maintaining the pool. Okay. But I feel like on a cruise ship, it's like the pool's kind of like an afterthought. You think so? So it's just like, oh yeah, we got the pool... Oh, I know some nights it's so rocky the pool water is all well, yeah, the deck, yeah, so you're getting yeah. new pool water. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. I don't know, I don't know. It's just how I look at it. Okay. But yeah, but no, but yeah, for for me, it's more about the dining. The, okay. So. So yeah, then no. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I wouldn't pay full price. Especially because you've never been on Royal Caribbean, and I wanted to show you the pizza and the ice cream and the. All that awesome. Yes, I've only been on the door. I've only been on the snobby cruise lines. Yeah, You're the correct. Snobby, snob, You're correct. Snobby cruise lines. You're like, correct. Oh, what did you 
Kentucky. Yes, with with <laughs> with no children and yeah, absolute quiet and peace. Yeah, this plan was and... to show you how awesome Royal Caribbean can be. Yes, you are absolutely right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. So we're gonna have to wait. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. So you can fully experience Royal Caribbean. Yep. A time I don't have to walk around with a gas mask on. Yeah. And All right. So that I'm not looking for the center of a ship. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure, we went on Norwegian, and I spent a very long time looking for the center of the Norwegian ship. Now, okay. Now, (laughs) for anyone listening, you're probably wondering, what does she mean, the center of the ship? So, if you go on a normal cruise line, you go on Celebrity, you go on... Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, you go on that, you go on uh, Carnival. The center of the ship is where, you know, the bar is, where there's, like, the big TV screens, the elevators usually. The casino. The casino. That's usually the center of the ship. Now, on Royal Caribbean, and on these huge Oasis class, Quantum class ships, ships. they have something called Central Park. And it is literally... Like Central park. park, because you have Johnny Rockets, you have a literal park, you have a carousel, yeah. you have all this stuff. Ice cream, sweets. You have like a sports bar, you have like all this stuff. An arcade. That is... Trees, greenery. Yeah. All this stuff that is not really what you would classify as the center of a ship. <laughs> it's a, they have a huge center of a ship yeah so she was looking for center of the ship and really she was looking for central park (laughs) royal caribbean is the only one with a central park so yeah that's uh what what he has to experience in order to understand what i was looking for the whole time yeah and super disappointed when i found out where that i was standing in the center of the ship anyway (laughs) next question i have for you is Let's say every cruise line opens on August 1st, okay? Yes, okay. And with the current guidelines that they have in place, what cruise lines do you think are the best bang for the buck? Mm-hmm. Out of Carnival, Ro- Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, Disney, and Norwegian. Hmm. Which one would you say are the best bang for the buck? Now, full disclosure, we have not traveled on all of these cruise lines, but just our opinions at the time, best bang for the buck. Best bang for the buck. So, hmm, I don't know. Truthfully, I and I only say, okay. Go ahead. I'll tell you my opinion. Yeah. Because I'm very decisive. Mm-hmm. For a family, I would say Disney. I think if you have a family, if you have kids, Disney is always going to be your best bet because they have a lot of things for children. Right. Like a lot of cool little things, like. Um, how the paintings come come to life and, you know, all those little cool little aspects. Are we talking, and maybe I didn't hear you correctly, are we talking like post-corona, everything normal? No, no, no. I said, I said during corona, during. how it is right now. Okay. Disney's always going to be your best bet if you have a family. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Now, outside of Disney, I think your best bet... Um, August 1st, how everything is right now with all the different things put in place. Um, I think your best bet would probably be, all things considered... Celebrity. No. That's what I was going to say. Okay, that's what fine. What are you going to say? No, that's no, fine. No, what are you going to no. say? So, oh. so, so, <laughs> so why do you say... Why do you say... Okay, so celebrity, I say. This is why. So I just thought about it, right? Sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> so I say celebrity because of the fact that there's less people. Okay, okay. Period. So with all the restrictions and things like that, there's naturally the ships are smaller. They don't have as many people. You're not going to feel like, are you going to even be able to get dinner tonight? You know, like you may experience on Royal Caribbean with the fact that they have so many people to feed and no buffet. And who knows what the center of their ship's going to look like. There probably won't be one. (laughs) So, I'm going to stick with... Ethan, you okay over there? I think um, celebrity, naturally, you're going to have, you know, that nicer experience. Because there's just not going to be as many people stuck with all these restrictions. Mm -hmm. So, but definitely the the price, you're going to get what you pay for. So, you're going to get that with a higher ticket. 
item. Right. You know? Right. So anyway, before I rudely interrupted you, um, who are you uh, going to say? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I think that's good reasoning. Um, <laughs> what's funny is that we were at two totally different extremes. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. I was going to say carnival. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So why carnival? Uh, I was going to say carnival totally because carnival extremes. is very cheap. Carnival is dirt cheap. Compared to a lot of the other cruise lines, right. their deposits are extremely cheap mm-hmm. compared to all the other cruise lines. Um, you know, you could take get a cruise there for four hundred bucks per person. They have a lot of food options, um, and um, uh, yeah, I just think all things considered, you're going to be able to get a vacation. That's going to be on par with every other cruise line at this point, mm-hmm. except for Celebrity. Celebrity is a little bit of a higher end, but it's going to be on par with Royal Caribbean or Nor- and Norwegian at this point with how things are for a quarter of the price. That's true. But so, I'd be curious to see if you enjoyed would enjoy Carnival since you've only sailed with Celebrity. Yeah, I would enjoy Carnival. And Norwegian at this point. I would approach like <clears throat> Spring Break. Okay. Spring break, uh, you know, I'm not going to say the year because I'm in my mid to late 20s, mm-hmm. but, you know, yeah. Okay. So, carnival for you, celebrity for me. Yep. I'll see you when I come back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's see. One more question is 2021. What do you think the 2021 outlook is going to be for cruising? For cruising in 2021. Yeah. Well, I hope by that point their Rona doesn't come back and they're able to start to kind of loosen up all the restrictions and mm-hmm. kind of move back to somewhat of a normal, you know, travel industry. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's gone so that all travel can come back to normal. Yeah. Because if it's like it is this year, I think we're all kind of SOL. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if it'll a hundred percent ever go back though. Like, I think you're still going to have like tons and tons of here's hand the washing and sanitizing. here's the problem. We are not students of history. Mm. Americans, yeah. especially we do not listen to history at all. So because of that, I think the coronavirus, we're going to forget about this. If it doesn't come back this winter, we're going to forget by Christmas that we ever had the coronavirus. I mean, that would be really nice. And then it's going to be Goodbye, absolutely fine. Corona. So, you know, if, if we don't have it again the second half of this year, <laughs> I think we'll be fine. And then we'll forget we ever had it. Good. But if it comes back, then I think that's when there'll be an issue. But Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully they'll have the pools open and the buffets open since that's all we look forward to. Exactly. With extra chlorine. Exactly. Woo! Exactly. <laughs> so with that said, we want to thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. Yes. Um, again, I am Ethan. And I am Maddie. We, want, uh, we hope you all subscribe to this podcast. Be sure to like the podcast, subscribe to the podcast, share the podcast. Yes. Um, listen to it dozens of times. And uh, we'll be back right here with some more episodes. Uh, be sure to interact with us. Let us know what you want to hear us talk about. Yes. Um, and outside of that, we will talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, everyone. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.